Today we cover perhaps the most forgotten Disney princess from one of Disney's biggest box office disappointments, Princess Ilanwi from the Black Cauldron. Oh yes, I have been looking forward to this. Where's this chick from? The Black Cauldron is based on two books from Lloyd Alexander's The Chronicles of Prydain, which in turn are based on Welsh mythology from the 12th and 13th centuries. The books occur in the fictional realm of Prydain, over which Ailanwy eventually becomes High Queen, but for the sake of this web series, we'll say that Ailanwy is a Welsh princess, more specifically the princess of the Kingdom of Gwyneth. Historical context. This all happens before Wales is part of the United Kingdom, or even before Wales is properly Wales. Like Snow White's Germany, it's made up of a lot of smaller kingdoms, and Gwyneth in the north is the most powerful. Let me sum up about 200 years worth of history for you. Younger brothers of the Princess of Gwyneth always agree to help fight off the English, but as soon as they do that, they always decide that they want to be prince instead and then they fight off their brother. Seriously, this cycle happens like four times! If something is rotten in the state of Gwyneth, it is either your younger brother trying to steal your throne, the Normans, or both at the same time. Ilanwy's kingdom. In 1247, with the Peace of Woodstock, England finally gets to sink its teeth into Gwyneth and it leaves a little territory behind for the three royal brothers to fight over. The Welsh people of Lower Gwyneth suffer under the high taxes inflicted by the English. They're chafing under the rule of an uncaring foreigner and they long for Welsh supremacy once more. In their despair, they look to the three brothers and tell them to get over their petty squabbles to help take Gwyneth back. I keep thinking of Gwyneth Paltrow. It's not spelled the same. But what if they looked to a princess instead of a prince? One who'd given her heart to a lowborn hero with his own version of Excalibur. Ilanwi as queen. Okay, let's see that Ilanwi and Taran's adventures with the Horn King all take place earlier when Wales is trying to make nice with England in 1241. They're of age to garner Welsh support, push the English out of their kingdom, and rule in their own right by the 1250s. Does Ilanwi have what it takes to restore the royal house of Aberfrau? We look to the Rachel scale. Okay, since this is Disney Ilanwi and not Alexander Ilanwi, I'll be referencing the resources she has in the film and not in the books. Diplomacy. Every time Gwyneth was free from the Norman invasion, it was because they made nice with the English by staying in their land. So if Ilanwi is winning back her kingdom, she has to make England believe that by ruling Gwyneth, she won't threaten them. Let me put it this way, if Bella's Hermione Granger, then Ilanwi is Luna Lovegood. My pick can tell the future. Ooh, how interesting. She's optimistic and adorable, but she's a little out there. I don't think the English would see her as a she-wolf ready to wage war, and they might be convinced to back out of Gwyneth for the millionth time. For a price. They'd be wrong to underestimate her because Ilana has a magical ally of sorts. And no, it's not the fairies. They're cute, but they don't do much. I wouldn't call the witches more of a loyal to Ilana necessarily, but here's the thing. She knows where they live and she knows how they operate. One magical object for another. If she can get Bay to offer his magical sword or something else to trade, maybe she could get an enchanted gauntlet or something to put pressure on the English to make the deal. It's not perfect diplomacy, but Ilana has options. 13 out of 20. Optics. If Ilanwi can't convince the English to butt out, she'll need to convince her countrymen to rally the troops. Though the evidence suggests that the Welsh people were ready to fight and just wanted a royal to lead the cause, why should they pick Ilanwi instead of the three princes? Points against Ilanwi, her choice of consort. Taran isn't of royal blood, he's an assistant pig keeper. Points for Ilanwi. Even if Taran is lowborn, he has a magic sword. King Arthur was in many Welsh texts from the 5th to 8th century, so the image of a humble boy thrust into kingliness by the choice of a magic sword isn't exactly foreign to them. But the divinely ordained king with a princess of the blood, and you've got a strong case. 7 out of 10. Economics. By way of wealth, Ilanwi only has a magic bobble and the clothes on her back. She can't pay any troops to support her, and she can't boost the economy. Lucky for her that Gwyneth doesn't need the boost. The peasants are ready to roll up the rebellion and get rid of the English and their dumb taxes. Ilanwi gets a free or dirt cheap fighting force and she keeps them happy as long as she doesn't tax them the way the English did. Which she won't have to. By the 13th century, Gwyneth's export game is, as the kids say, on fleek. Trade routes are developing and important inventions like the windmill and the horse collar are making life easier. And what's the indication of a good economy? Artisans and expert craftsmen! Goldsmiths and professional bards are in demand at this time. Ilanwi's broke, but her country ain't, so I give her 10 out of 20. Influence. Okay, I can't help it, I'm gonna quote the books. Can one such as I rule a kingdom? I remember a time when I jumped headfirst into a thorn bush, and I fear kingship will be no different. Very likely more nettlesome, put in Ilanwi. But should you have any difficulties, I'll be happy to give you my advice. Taran has a good heart, but... Ilanwi's calling the shots in this kingdom, come on. She's always been able to put him in his place. Girl? Girl? If it weren't for this girl, you would still be in the Horned King's dungeon. She has the experience, the royal blood, and Taran's attention. Her opinions will be honored. 10 out of 10. Conflict management. Ilanwi is the first princess in our lineup to have a kingdom not in debt, in revolt, or beset by plague. 
Gwyneth can run fine on its own. It just wants a Welsh ruler, not an English one. Ilongwe's one conflict is getting the throne, not keeping it. As I said, Ilongwe might be able to get Henry III and his son to abandon their holdings in Gwyneth. But if she can't, she could draw on the ready force of Welshmen to beat them back. Can she do it? I say yes. Ilongwe's got the numbers and she's clearly not squeamish about dead bodies. A burial chamber. Well, come on then. Help me look around. The English lacked money at the time to launch a proper defense, so it was an easy win. But never mind if Ilanwe had the guts, did she have the support? I cite historical precedent for this. About a century prior, Princess Gwenlian of a neighboring kingdom was left defenseless and open to attack when her husband was looking for allies against the Normans. She gathered an army and fought the Normans at Kidwelly Castle, and they were totally slaughtered and she got beheaded. But her heroic stand was immortalized in Welsh history, and centuries later, people still marched into battle shouting, REVENGE FOR Gwenlian! I think Ilanwe would be seen as the natural successor to Princess Gwenlian, and since her consort has a magic sword that never misses the mark, yeah, I think the Welsh peasants are gonna jump on that bandwagon. 40 out of 40. Bringing Ilanwe to the high score of 80 out of 100! Ilanwe pulls through, I knew it! For those of you who are upset that Aurora and Cinderella did so poorly in comparison, at least they get their own line of Disney merchandise. And there will never be an Ilanwe backpack. Side note, if you haven't already, I highly encourage you to watch The Black Cauldron. It's beautifully animated right between the old Disney and the Disney Renaissance sweet spot. The stakes are higher than a lot of Disney films. And best of all, it has some of the most hilarious sexual tension between the two leads, who are like, maybe 13. You know, I just, I'm, never mind, I'm just gonna show you. I'm, roll clip. Thank you for getting me out of the dungeon. Oh, but we couldn't have done it without you. Well, at least we're all safe. Please, come with me. No! It's our only chance. And I think that you... Uh, 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 I mean... Mm. What am I watching? See you next time.